there, baby. Hold up. Okay, okay, I'm coming. This morning, instead of the night before, like a responsible person. Luckily, we live two minutes away, so. Okay, let's go. And we're back. Luckily, Donovan's school is really, really close by. Even on chaotic mornings like this one, <laughs> where he sleeps in, I let him sleep as long as possible before I have to wake him up. We, we're not late, right? Which is good. Are you ready? for your first nap of the day. Mm -hmm. We've been up since about like 6.30. I've been very relaxed about my mornings and just waking up before the kids and stuff. I just listen to my body now. Unlike before where I love to be up at like 5.30 and you know, like do my prayer and meditation and journal and stretch, do a little yoga, all that stuff. Like right now it's just a season of listening to my body and responding <laughs> to whatever I feel like is best for for me and for my physical well-being. I'm not getting the most rest. Romy was sleeping through the night around four months and then the kids got sick and that hasn't happened since. I don't think there's been a single time actually that she slept through the night um, or even like a longer stretch than four hours. So give yourself a little bit of grace if you're like me and rushing around in the morning. I hate doing that, especially because one of my favorite things about school mornings is spending a lot of quality time with Donovan, being super intentional. She's on the ground now. We usually like to read and play Mancala or do a puzzle or some like, other game, we love Guess Who. That way we just like actually spend some time with like undivided attention before he's off for the day. He's done around 3 o'clock and it's sort of more of the same there, like just a lot of very intentional one-on-one -on -one time or, you know, the best that I can do with Will Road. I feel like maybe that's a refreshing perspective, even though it wasn't like the full scope because I couldn't just be filming every detail. But for those of you that are like, rushing and feeling crazy out of, the, out of the door in the morning or just feeling chaotic. You're not, you're not alone. You know how I love books and book recommendations, even kids book recommendations. So this is by William Stig. He also wrote the book Dr. DeSoto. If you've read that children's book, it's so good. Great for like this age, I would say like four to five. Donovan and I really enjoyed this. So I wanted to share it. And now back to cleaning.
Boom boom, will there be enough room? Each up the coconut tree. They're all coming up. Okay, all on their way up the coconut tree. Element OP! Oh no! Chicka chicka boom boom. Everybody running to the coconut tree. Here's then dust there. Bam! Then comes G. <gasps> all out of breath. Hello, Miss Romy. Hi, my beautiful girl. Woo! I'm not gonna lie, you guys. I'm a bit nervous to vlog at the gym. It's a new gym and I just, I already feel that just innate sense of embarrassment in general, just walking around. I'm like, don't, please. And so a camera, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be brave, I'm gonna try, but just know that this is out of my comfort zone. The other gym, I had been there for like a long time. I would go really early most of the time. There were like ways to like, kind of like, place it on something and not, I don't know, not feel obnoxious. Today, I'm gonna feel a little bit on the obnoxious side. But that's okay, maybe I can hide my camera with this pullover. Okay, let's go. Ew. Bless that baby. All right, also you guys, this is the phone that I've been using for gym time. Morning, if I want to do like a guided meditation, like listen to my affirmations that I've recorded for myself. Same thing with bedtime. It literally has nothing else on it. My actual phone, I've really been just leaving in a drawer. Honestly, the majority of the day, I don't even have my regular phone with me unless I drive somewhere for like safety reasons and it's been so nice in the past i've had like no phone zones and i've had times of day where i'm like okay this is when i want to have designated screen time for myself but having a job where you know everything is like online products or you know you're trying to grow a platform it can be so difficult to not feel sucked into work mode i guess anytime you have it on you and I was just thinking so much about how when I was in high school, I had a cell phone, but it could like, I don't even think I really texted anyone necessarily. I would like just call friends or whatever, like we would just talk in person because we were in school. Love, almost. And if we wanted to like use Facebook or whatever, we would like have to be on the actual physical computer. And it was really fun, but then like once you're off the computer, you were like off, you know? And I feel like we are never off of the freaking computer because it's on us at all times. This is not a phone, it's literally a computer. And so I just have been really exhausted from that and like just tired of it. So I took matters into my own hands. I was like, I'm gonna use my old phone to do the things that I like want to do with my phone, but without the distractions that my actual phone comes with, that makes sense. So if you have an old phone lying around, or even an iPod or something that you can put things like a guided meditation, breathing exercises, affirmations, and your music on. I highly recommend going back to that because it's been a game changer for me. Ah, just want to share that. Okay, let's go. We are done with the gym. I think I put in some clips, but I was too nervous to bring my camera. I'm just doing slow, steady strength training. Some walking, some Stairmaster if I have the time. Today I didn't have the time. That was like a 35 minute workout. Now, I'm nervous again, you guys. I need to get back into like the I don't care mentality when it comes to vlogging. Today's not that day. I'm hungry and I need to get a couple of things for dinner tonight. So we're at Trader Joe's. 
Let's go. But oh, I'm not bringing you into the store because I'm just, I'm just too nervous. I'm nervous today. Oh, and that'll change. That change. Okay, bye. See you in a second. Okay, hello, back home, listening to this like goal setting, Dean Graziosi thing, <laughs> unloading these. Romy's asleep in the car, so I just like took everything out really, really fast, and now I'm going to go get her and hopefully successfully put her down for a legitimate nap upstairs, change her, nurse her, get her cozy. I have something like warming up on the stove also. I know you're probably like, really get the baby out of the car, but it's been like a very intense three minutes, okay? Don't judge me, people. Warming up my leftovers from last night. I've got some meatballs, green beans, <laughs> some rice with bone broth. I have to make a couple of like little activity things for Dee to do. I'm selling some stuff on Facebook Marketplace. Yeah, just updating you on what's happening right now. My arm hurts from holding the camera. Okay, bye. Should I do big pieces, triangles, or should I do... <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna try to walk. We've got Charlie, we've got Donovan on a scooter refusing to wear a coat. Those of you that struggle with that, I just bring the coat and hat and gloves with me until he asks to wear them. Right now he seems really comfortable, which... I don't know, Donovan runs warm, he knows his body. If a kid's cold, they're gonna want to get warmer, so listen to them, let them listen to their body. Don't make a big deal of it, just bring the coat. We took a break. Mom, look. Thanks for coming back. You're welcome. Will it work? Even if it's wood? Okay, perfect. It won't work. Let's just do it like that. Roller coaster. Mm -hmm. Oh no. That's, that's not. We need a wider bait. It's great that we had extra yarn. Here, I'll hold on to the orange if you want to spread out. Got it. Got it. Romy's sleeping. Made these yummy chicken thighs. This is goosebumps. Oh, mom. Okay, that's the end of my vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe, comment, let me know what you want to see. Thanks for joining me today, virtually, and I will see you on the next one. Mwah.